Good morning. Our psalm of the day today is Psalm 90, the only psalm attributed to Moses. Simon Mayo used to present a Radio 2 show called Drive Time. He asked the listeners to send in their three-worders, a summary of their day in no more than three words. I wonder, what would be your three-word summary of this psalm of the day? Here's my suggestion. Dwelling place, dust, desire. Dwelling place. Lord, you have been our dwelling place through all generations. Before the mountains were born, or you brought forth the whole world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Moses recognises God's permanence and power. He has simply always been. The mountains may look permanent, but they were brought forth by God's creating power. And human beings have found God to be their dwelling place through all generations. Paul says something similar to the Greek philosophers in Athens when he seeks to declare the true God to them. In him we live and move and have our being. That's a good way to start the day, by thinking about the unchanging, everlasting God who is there. And every aspect of our lives today will be lived in his dwelling place. He is not far from any one of us. And then dust. You turn people back to dust, saying, Return to dust, you mortals. A thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by, or like a watch in the night. In contrast to God's immortality, we are turned back to dust. Moses must have God's words to Adam in the garden in mind, after he had disobeyed the Lord. For dust you are, and to dust you will return. And the middle part of the song dwells on the themes of our frustration, death and mortality. It also reminds us of why we die, because we are under the curse from the garden. Moses was a realist. He'd seen enough of life to know that death triumphs in the end. And Moses was a theologian, he understood that the wages of sin is death. However unwelcome this subject may be, we must face the fact that we are all dust, and to dust we will return. And the question then becomes, is there any hope? Is there any purpose? And the last word is desire. Relent, Lord. How long will it be? Have compassion on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your unfailing love, that we may sing for joy and be glad all our days. Instead of cursing God or curling up in a heap, Moses' desire is for the Lord's compassion. He desires to know God's unfailing love that brings joy and gladness. Isn't that a wonderful picture? That although we are but dust, God's love can bring us lasting joy. Let's remember that Moses' desire, reflected in this prayer, is fulfilled ultimately by God's grace through his Son, Jesus Christ. Paul puts it like this, This grace has now been revealed through the appearing of our Saviour, Christ Jesus, who has destroyed death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. Yes, God is immortal and we are but dust, but through Jesus a way has been found for death to be destroyed and eternal life to be obtained. That's something we all desire. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. So let's begin the day with that same desire. Satisfy us in the morning, Lord, 
with your unfailing love. Amen.